Welcome to day eight of 75 hard. So I am currently cooking dinner. I don't know if you guys can see over here, but I'm making turkey burgers, asparagus, and sweet potatoes. So I cut the ends off of my asparagus. Now I'm gonna season it with some olive oil. And then I'm going to toss in salt, pepper, salt, pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder. So onion powder and garlic powder. A good amount. And then we're going to take some tongs. If I can find them, we're going to give it a nice little toss just to coat everything evenly, kind of mix everything together so everything combines well. So while I'm doing this, I'm going to talk to you guys about something. If you saw my video for you guys, technically when I'm posting this, it would have been yesterday's video, but the video I made today, because today is Tuesday, but this video will come out on Wednesday. Does that make sense? Um, you'll know that I lost six pounds between last week and this week. And some of you guys might be like, that's amazing. Six pounds is great, blah, blah, blah. But that concerns me a little bit because I average about a pound and a half to two and a half pounds a week. So for me to have a drastic six, six pound loss, um, I was curious as to why. Now it could be because this is the first week really since last Wednesday where I'm not bleeding anymore. And so maybe all that blow and whatever was going on, gas or whatever it was, um, is like out of my system. So maybe that has something to do with it. But... I really want to treat this journey the right way. I obviously am excited that I'm down 45 pounds. I'm excited six pound weight difference is great, but I want to make sure I'm doing this healthily, healthy. Um, so I decided to use the Lose It app today. I have the free version um, and just see where I'm at with my calories and my protein and all that stuff. And let's just say for what I ate today, and that's not including dinner yet, I have to add everything in. Um, it wasn't looking very good this morning. And so I'm concerned that I'm under eating. So I have, even though I'm eating like until I'm full and I'm eating protein with every single meal, um, I don't think it's enough. So I have a new plan starting for next week and I'll tell you guys about that in a second. I'm gonna pop this in the air fryer. 400 degrees at about eight minutes and then at the eight minute mark I'm going to top it with mozzarella for another like two minutes and over here you guys are on my backpack right now or my lunchbox in this pan I'm going to put some oil in there and then throw the turkey burgers in so while that is cooking I'll talk to you guys a little bit more about what I discovered today so basically you guys see, or I told you, or I don't remember. Basically what I eat every day for breakfast and lunch does not really change, at least not the last like three weeks. So I have my um, grilled chicken with tomatoes, tzatziki, feta, and um, tomato, and cucumber, sorry. Every day for lunch. Then for breakfast, I usually have two hard boiled eggs, a cheese stick, and um, an apple. This week, I didn't have eggs, so I didn't make that. So I do cottage cheese and um, pineapple. So I thought, okay, that's good. Cottage cheese is protein, whatever. And then sometimes I'll have an afternoon snack while I'm still at work. Other times I won't. A lot of times when I get home, I'll make my little dessert thing like early treat. And then we have dinner and dinner is always some sort of protein. It's either the protein pasta, it's either chicken, it's either turkey burgers. Like there's always a protein in dinner. Um, and sometimes I'll have like another snack in between then. So really I'm eating every like three, four hours. 
And I thought I was doing pretty well. Well, this morning I realized that with my breakfast and my lunch combined, it was only a little over like 300 calories. And it also was only like 30 grams of protein. And that is not good. <laughs> um, so basic, and I don't know if that's contributing to this because again, this is the first week that I'm not having my like normal breakfast, but everything else is pretty much the same. So what I did was I had an um, cottage cheese this morning with a pineapple, had my lunch, then for a snack I had a cheese stick and an apple, and then I came home and I had some leftover protein pasta, um, like a bowl of it, I'd say like a cup and a half of it, um, just to kind of get more protein in and get more calories in. Um, I had my little dessert and now we're gonna do the turkey burgers, asparagus, and sweet potato. So at the end of the night, I'll see what all of that comes out to, but my plan for right now is I'm going to go back. So I think I've talked about this before, but I get to work at eight every day and I'm really bad at waking up in the morning. So like I basically just roll out of bed, get myself ready and, and go to work, which I'm trying to get better at and going to sleep earlier has really been helping. Hold on, I gotta flip the burgers. But um, yeah, going to sleep earlier has really helped but I'm just not hungry in the mornings. I never have been, I've never been a breakfast person. I've tried a thousand times. And so I kind of was unintentionally doing intermittent fasting, which like is fine. So I wake up regularly around anywhere between 6.15 and like seven o'clock every day. And then I don't eat anything usually until about 10, 10.15, 10 10.30 sometimes. And then that's usually when it's my two hard boiled eggs, cheese stick, apple. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pre-make things to eat on my way to work um, and like force myself to eat just to get something going in my system early in the morning. So I found this recipe, I'll link it in the description. Um, it's basically like really low carb, teeny tiny tortillas. You put it in like a muffin tin and then you put a piece of um, ham and then you crack an egg in it and then you top it with cheese and you put it in the oven and they come out to be like little egg bite things so i think i'm gonna do two of those in the morning on my way to work and then that way i'll eat around 6 30 7 a.m and then i'll have my first snack which i'm gonna up so all of this is kind of leaning towards me eating more eggs um hard-boiled eggs which i don't mind because i love hard-boiled eggs i just know that sometimes there's there's such thing as too many eggs. So like, I hope that that's not gonna be the case in this. Um, so technically that would be two eggs and then I'll have my, my I guess, second breakfast, if that's what you wanna call it, my first snack, which will be my two or three hard boiled eggs, apple cheese stick. Then for lunch, I'm upping a lot of the chicken. I'm gonna put way more chicken in that salad or whatever it is you wanna call it that I have um, and might add a hard boiled egg into there too. And then for my second snack, I'm gonna like force myself to have it. Um, I'm gonna do my cottage cheese and pineapple and then whatever regular dinners I have. Um, I also am gonna start bringing nuts with me to either have with my second breakfast or to have with my cottage cheese. So I'm really, really, really trying to be like heavy protein. And I did all the calculations and all that stuff. And they say that you're supposed to have like one gram of protein per one pound of fit, like body weight. For someone who's obese, that doesn't work because then I would need to have 261 grams of protein a day. That's obviously not gonna happen. So what you're supposed to do, again, not a doctor, do your own research on this, but what I've heard and what I've learned is that you're supposed to take what the highest level of your BMI is in the normal range. So like for me, my, a normal range, but the high end of my BMI would be 130, which is like fucking insane. I'm only five, one and a half. So like, I understand, but 130 is a number that is never going to happen. But anyway, I took that and I times it by, um, 1.7. So 1.7 grams of protein. And that gave me just about a hundred grams. So that's what I'm going to aim for every day. I'm going to aim for like a hundred grams of protein. And then I'm going to aim for like, um, 1700 calories, I think. So that's kind of where my mindset is right now. Gotta go do the asparagus. So right now it is about 9.15. My husband just got home a little while ago. Me and Hunter went for a walk earlier. 
I will say I unfortunately only got 20 minutes in on my walk today. Um, but honestly, I'm not going to hold it against myself, um, you know, for the 75 hard thing. Because I really am doing more of a 75 soft anyway. And the reason why we only got 20 minutes in is because Hunter just doesn't seem right to me. He still seems like he's limping a little bit and I didn't want to push him and I didn't want to drop him off and then go back out in case something was wrong. So, it's fine. Um, but at least I got some movement in. I'm drinking my water. I got lunches and snacks packed for tomorrow. Dinner is basically made. Just waiting for the sweet potatoes to be done. Gonna eat, watch some shows, crawl into bed. And that's basically day eight. So, oh, and tonight's shot day. So when I take my shot, I'll come back and show you guys. All the sweet potatoes are cooking. I'll show you what our turkey burgers are looking like. This, these two are mine. I really, truly, most of the time, only am able to eat one at a time, but I melt Colby Chalk cheese on mine. Tim is melting some shaved parm. And then this is what our, our asparagus is looking like, and Tim and I split that. So, and then our sweet potatoes are in there. All right, here's the finished product, the asparagus sweet potato that I put a little bit of butter and sour cream on. This is all light sour cream. And then my two turkey burgers, which I always, always, always only finish one. So that's what we have. All right, so this is what I ended up finishing. After doing some calculations, my food scale is broken, unfortunately. Well, it's not that it's broken, the battery's just dead and I don't have the right batteries to put in it. So I did have to like guess certain things, putting it into that Lose It app. But according to that app, <clears throat> excuse me, um, I ate a little over 1,500 calories today. Um, I set my goal for 1,650. So definitely lower than I was supposed to. Um, although I did just create that goal for myself today. So um, I think it was like 1,530 maybe. But it says I hit 100 grams of protein. So that's a win. Again, I did have to kind of just like go by my eye and not weigh everything. So that could be off one way or another, either higher or lower. I don't know, but we're going to clean up now and then go upstairs and get into bed. Just kidding. Totally forgot. Have to do my shot. And I said I would do it with you guys. I did just want to show you. I'm on Manjaro, five milligrams. My husband is on Zetbound. Literally the exact same thing. So, I can't remember what side I did it on last week. Mm. We're just going to do it on this side. I always do it in my belly area. A um, whole lot of belly here. But I always do it like around here. So, we will do that. So, you take the gray cap off. Always make sure you take it off. This is mine. Unlock it. Put it on your skin press and hold out fuck wait for the second click hold for a few seconds and take it off dang that one fucking stung today i promise normally it does not hurt but that one stung for some reason and then i also have to take my medicine for only let's see four more days um this is the bleeding medicine the period medicine that they wanted me to take 10 days past when I stopped bleeding. So that's these. Now I'm getting ready to get into bed. Once again, I totally forgot to close up my video. So enjoy this cute little picture of my kitty cat, Millie, and we'll see you in day nine. Good night.